Chicago residents Ryan and Carrie have been dating for seven years, and they're ready to take their relationship to the next level. <laughs> we are looking to buy our first home. But when they can't decide where they want to live... I don't want to rule out the suburbs. I feel like we're just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and Carrie gets cold feet about the house hunt. 30 years. We don't know what we're going to be doing next year. Will this house hunt test this seven-year relationship? The home search is a daunting, long process. It gets stressful, I understand. Actually, it's not just the home search. It's everything. Hi, I'm Carrie. Hi, I'm Ryan. And we are looking for our first home here in beautiful Chicago. Keeping our options open, looking for a condo, townhouse, row home, maybe the suburbs. Just definitely something super unique. Ryan Gwozniak and Carrie Schwebel are a fun, outgoing couple and have been together for seven years. And now, the 26-year-olds are looking to buy their first home in Chicago, Illinois. We love Chicago. The big city lifestyle is very important. I love to be active and try different things in the city. We live in one of the best cities in the world. Ryan and Carrie have been living in a small studio apartment in Chicago's bustling Streeterville neighborhood for three years. We need a bigger kitchen. Seriously, this is crazy. We like to have people over, like to entertain, have a good time, and it's just difficult to do in a small spot. Good girl. And it's even more difficult to share their small space with Coco, their 62-pound rescue dog. She is just a crazy ball of energy. So she needs a lot more space. Carrie and Ryan are young professionals on the move. Ryan works from home and is a regional sales manager for a large food manufacturer. Carrie is a personal stylist at a high-end downtown department store. Ryan is, is definitely practical with his money. Loves nice things and loves to go out to dinner, but he'll definitely tell me to back down on my spending. I want some debt. I want this first. I am going to start I don't know what anything is. Ryan and Carrie have saved $14,000 for their down payment, and they've been casually looking at houses online for the past two years. We definitely need more space because of Coco. We were pre-approved for $350,000. Um, we're looking to stay more around $250,000. Ryan, how did you get Carrie to agree to slow down on the shopping and <laughs> get in on that 30-year mortgage? Yeah. I didn't realize this was going to be 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so 30 years. We don't know what we're going to be doing next year. Can we do five? Five? Are you kidding? Yeah, five. We would not be able to afford five. I don't think ever. <laughs> Carrie got a little freaked out by the 30-year words and the 30-year mortgage. I don't think she quite fully understands what that means. Yes. Cities in the cards, of course, and we've been here a while, but, you know, I'm not ruling the suburbs out. Ruling the uh, really? suburbs? <laughs> oh, I do not see Carrie going to the suburbs. I don't either. <laughs> I'm surprised you want to look in the suburbs. Why? We're city people. A house in the suburbs would give us a yard, a second bedroom, much more space within our budget. We just can't get that down here in the city. To help sort everything out is Carrie and Ryan's realtor, Kara Buffa. OK, this is what we need to do. I want you to list everything that you want in your home and pretend like price is not an object. I want two bedrooms, one for my office. I work from home. It'd be nice to have. Two parking spots. We both have a car, so that's really important. Neighborhood feel and a dog-friendly building, of course. We positively need more space. Okay. And within that space, more closet space. Mm -hmm. well, we're used to a lot of amenities, so um, pool, hot tub, spa a gym within the building, granite countertops and stainless steel appliances, okay. a washer dryer in unit, and his and her sinks in the bathroom. All very important things, I agree. So what kind of home do you envision yourselves in? A condo, a single family home, a town home? We're keeping our options open. I mean, we want to yeah. look at everything, really. But I don't want to rule out the suburbs. I think, you know, we can get a really good deal for our money. How much money are we working with here? Well, we were pre-approved for 350000 but okay. we kind of want to stick around 250000 Yeah. Great. If there is something you think that we would love in the $350,000 range, don't hesitate to show us. Being practical here, <laughs> I think it's don't listen much more listen. affordable if we stick around that 250000 mark. Okay, great. Okay. 
The following Saturday, Carrie and Ryan drive out to the Chicago suburb of North Riverside to tour a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, 1,800-square-foot brick bungalow-style home built in 1923. It's listed at $249,900, which is just about what Ryan wants to spend. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. Good. Good you. How was your drive out here? I feel like we're just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we're really only 15 miles away from the city. It's not that bad. Okay. So this is more of a long-term property for you. I could see you living in a house like this for the next 10 to 15 years. Well, let's go see. Wow, I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, this, this is, is nice. It's a big space. What they've done with this renovation is they've opened everything up. They've kept the original beautiful oak floors and just refinished nice. them. You can smell the newness in here. Yeah. And I like the light and the windows. It's very welcoming. Let's continue on. OK. Here's wow. the kitchen. Wow, that's awesome. It's yeah. beautiful. I mean, this would definitely be great for entertaining. There's a Absolutely. lot of cabinet space. There's a lot of counter space. Definitely. This could be all Coco's food, all right here. <laughs> I love it. Wow. So you're going to find this master bedroom to be much larger than the bedrooms we're going to be looking that's at. That's so sweet. I mean, this is bigger than our entire studio apartment we're living in now. Yeah, I mean, we don't necessarily need this much space. Oh, wow. This is huge. Coco would great. love this. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. Look at the view for a second, though. Our neighbor's yards, wires, and alley. Wouldn't you love to see the city? You know, it works for me. It's, it's got enough space. You know, I'm not really concerned about that so much. And grow into this house, kids down the road. I mean, this is perfect. I feel like there were more city people. We go out, we want to walk to the bars, go to the restaurants, try everything, the nightlife. Ryan just needs to realize how we're living right now and not think that we're living 20 years from now. We would be so bored out here. In the winter months, what are we going to do? We would be stuck here. It's very overwhelming. I'm going to feel trapped and suffocated. First time home buyers Ryan and Carrie saw a house in the suburbs, but Carrie is less than enthusiastic and wants to stay in the city. We would be so bored out here. It just scares the hell out of me. Well, this is not the right place for us. We're just too far apart on what we both want, and I think that um, we can find a compromise. We need to find something in the city that works for both of us, and, and my biggest priority is the price. Right. I have some great ideas for you in the city. I'll set some things up, and I'll be back in touch within a couple days. Great. great. Okay. Thanks, Kara. Awesome. You're welcome. So a few days later, Carrie and Ryan meet Kara at a high-rise condominium. Built in 2004, the one-bedroom, one-bathroom condo is 1,000 square feet. The turnkey unit is located in Chicago's vibrant River North neighborhood. But the $375,000 list price is $25,000 over their maximum budget. Oh, well, girl, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Nice to see yeah. you. Guys. So, yes. so excited. You can see how well everything is taken yes. care of here. It's amazing. A full amenity building. I think that you're going to find that it's worth every penny. Well, I'm excited to see it. Let's go Let's look. Do it. I'm not too excited about it. I didn't get my hopes up because it's just expensive. Go. Wow. That view is incredible. This is amazing. This is the most luxurious building in River North. Ryan, look at the view. You can see the river. This is an I own the city view. This is what I imagined us being. Absolutely. Finishes are amazing. The floors look great. Let's take a look at the kitchen. OK. OK. Wow, this is beautiful. Stainless steel, open floor plan. I think this is the best part. You can look out here and you see the city. Perfect kitchen. I love it. But you do. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. And you still Great get a bedroom. view from yeah. the bedroom. So this bedroom is about the size of your apartment now. Yes. That you're living in. Absolutely. Um, yeah. okay. The master bathroom has his and her sinks. So <gasps> no fighting over counter space her anymore. Fit. So Ryan, here is the key to any woman's heart. This is ridiculous. 
This is incredible. You can go on another shopping trip, Carrie. Exactly. Just keep filling it in. If we buy this place, you won't have enough money for anything else. Well, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important for me to be practical in this situation. I don't think Carrie's looking out further than today. So guys, this is a 10. Yes. What do you want to do? It's very expensive. It's, uh, it's I a... absolutely love this place. I think it's perfect. It has everything that we want. It's a great location. It's a it's beautiful a dream. place, but we just have to think responsibly about this. I'd really like to stay around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. This is a perfect place. It... Yes, the closet, everything is updated. You can't forget about homeowner association fees, taxes, other costs that you don't factor in right away. Buying something like this is going to put us way over. God forbid if something happens, like one of us loses our job, we could never afford this on one salary. I guess so. Let's get back out there. Okay. Over the next six weeks, they look at properties in the city and within their budget. <laughs> another two bedroom, two bath, and it's a really, really unique loft floor plan. That place is it's too small. Every place that Carrie sees, she's just finding something wrong with it. I, I don't get it. I think you're going to like this building. It has really nice river views. Just didn't have enough closet space. OK, we'll know the right one when we see it. We've been seeing all these places, and nothing's right. I feel super overwhelmed with this entire process. The house hunt isn't going as smoothly as they hoped, but Ryan is determined to find that unique home that suits their lifestyle. I found some more listings online for us to take a look at. You want to come see? What's wrong? You all right? I'm just getting sick of this. The, the home search? Yeah. It's just not fun anymore. We've been seeing a place every single weekend and like our days off, it's very overwhelming. We're young. We have our whole lives to buy a place wherever we want. We don't have to do it right now. You can never start too early in investing in your future. What if I get a different position? What if you get a different position? We have to move somewhere. Then we have this house that we just purchased. You can sell a home. People sell homes. Buying a house just seems so final. I'm going to feel trapped and suffocated. I'm just not ready to commit to this right now. I thought that I was, and I'm I'm not. All of a sudden, she wants to stop looking. I heard nothing about this up until now, and, and just, it's shocking. I'm sorry. Ryan and Carrie have been looking for houses for two months, but Carrie has become apprehensive and wants to call the whole thing off. Right, I am really, really sorry about how I acted the other day. The home search, it's a daunting, long process. I, I get stressful, I understand. Actually, it's not just the home search. It's just things with work and family. I'm just really, really overwhelmed. I know that you want to buy a house, but honestly, I, I just don't know if this is what I want anymore. I really think that we should just take time apart. I don't understand. We've been together for over seven years. It's just too much pressure, and it's just not the right time for me. You were all for moving forward with me on this decision, and you're walking away from it. I'm sorry. After Ryan and I talked, he decided to move his things out. And now I'm living here with myself and Coco. After being blindsided by Carrie's news, Ryan decides to retreat to the suburbs and move in with his mom. Honey, how are you feeling? I didn't see it going this direction at all. She probably didn't either. But it's still important that you continue to pursue the dreams that you have for yourself. You know, I really love Carrie but I don't like to see my son hurting. I really hope that they can work something out. Maybe you can come with me on a couple of these showings. I'd love another opinion. I'd love to. Thanks, okay. Ma. So over the next month, Ryan and his mom look at condos, but Ryan can't imagine buying a place without Carrie. It's just not enough space for me and Carrie. I can't imagine my life without Carrie. And am I